Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be creating the pickup system for our weapons. We want to be able to get near them, uh, press any button that we want and then um, just pick them up in our hands. Last time we made these uh, weapon prefabs that we can pick up. They have colliders, they have uh, item ID scripts on them that we can use to find them. Let's create a new script and we're going to call this one player pickup. Open it up. We're going to use some raycast to find uh, the items. First we'll need a float for our pickup range. I'm set, I'm going to set mine to about 2. 3 works fine too. We're going to need a integer for the layer mask. We're not going to set it to anything but this is the um, the layer mask that we put on the items just so we can locate them faster or better. We will also need a variable for our game controller so the one that has the item database and the player inventory very important from that game controller we will get a item database and we will also need the player inventory that is also on the game controller so this shouldn't be too hard to find if we go into void start we're going to set the game controller in um, the inspector and the database will be equal to game controller dot get component item database and the inventory will be equal to game controller dot get component player inventory so basically whenever the game start we're going to take those variables and assign these components to them Actually, when I think about it, we do not need to assign this in the inspector. The game controller can be found pretty easily by just going uh, game object uh, dot find game object with tag game controller. That's pretty simple and it won't take too much out of our performance since we're doing it only once whenever the game starts. And make sure that the game controller has the tag game controller and make sure you spell it right. Now we'll need void update for this. First we want to send a raycast from the center of our screen to the game world. Luckily this is very simple in Unity. We just have to create a new ray. So this is the origin of the ray. We're going to call it ray. We need a camera to do this. So we will create another variable up here that I will call camera and just cam. And then cam equals to get component camera and now we can go cam dot viewport point to ray so basically it's going to get a point in our screen and then it's going it's going to send a ray from that point to uh, the game world and now we need to tell it which point that it will be we want to raycast from the middle of the screen so basically we can go 0. Point, uh, actually new vector 3 sorry and then uh, 0. 0.5 uh, float on the y-axis also 0 0.5 and on the z-axis 0. Then we also need the raycast hit. So that is the object that the raycast hits. And also one thing we forgot is to assign the layer mask. So we can go layer mask equals to layer mask dot get mask and then we just type in the string. You type in here the same name that you put it in the layers up here. And now we can use our raycast. So basically we go if physics that raycast ray. So we want to go from the ray. We're going to output the hit or the object that we hit. We're going to use the max distance uh, pickup range. And we also wanted to give it the layer mask, which is layer mask. I will quickly just rename this layer mask to pick up layer mask just so it's easier for Unity to, to do its thing. And now we just have to rename this. So whenever we raycast, we're going to check if we press E. So every frame we're going to send a raycast from the point of screen to the point in the world. And then we're going to check if input dot get key down key code dot E. So if you press E, that's our pickup shortcut, I guess. Now we'll create a new variable that will be called ID and it will be an integer. 
and it'll be equal to the game object that we hit dot transform dot get component item ID dot item ID. So basically whenever we press the E key, we're going to go to this object and then we're going to get its item ID from the item ID script. To continue, we're going to have to go and make some changes to our web weapon script. If we go to it, we'll have to create a new variable in here and it will be a new integer, make it public and it will be weapon type. This is either one, two or three. One is primary, two is secondary, three is melee. And now we have to go to our item database and uh, just set those. Leave element zero to zero. Weapon type of our M4 is one, primary. Weapon type of our double, bar double barrel is also one, primary. Weapon type of our M200 is one and weapon type of our M9 is 2 which is secondary. Now we can go back to our player pickup script and check if database dot, dot weapons. So that is the array of the weapons. So basically these ones that we just edited ID. So we'll get the one that we're looking for. Then we'll get weapon type is equal to primary is equal to two sorry or one actually sorry. So basically what we do is we take the object that we just uh, wanted to pick up. We go to the item database and we get its weapon type. Now that's what I said in the previous episode that the item ID of the object has to be the same as the element in, in the item database. So as you can see element 0 has item ID 0, element 1 has item ID 1, element 2 has item ID 2 and so on. That's very important. So if we just send the raycast to a primary object, first we want to check if we already have this weapon equipped. So we're going to go if inventory dot inventory one, which is our primary, is equal to ID. Whenever we play the game, you'll see that our element zero in inventory is equal to zero. If we pick up picked up a weapon, this uh, element will change to the weapon's ID, and if this element has the same ID as the weapon that we're trying to pick up. It means we already have that weapon. I made a small mistake here. Just check for zero. That is our primary actually. And then we're going to say debug.log. You already have that weapon. That's very simple. But what if we don't have that weapon? We're going to check else if inventory.inventory inventory zero is not equal to ID. So if we do not have that weapon, we want to equip it. So we'll change inventory dot inventory zero to be equal to ID. And also we'll go to instantiate the game objects from the database. So go database dot weapons and then ID dot weapon object. We want to parent it to our primary weapon slot. And if you remember, we created a weapon slot array last time. So zero, which is our primary dot game object. Then I'll just copy this and we'll have to paste it a few times. The second one is going to be game object dot uh, transform dot position. And the last one is going to be that same game object dot transform dot rotation. So this is how we're going to instantiate the object to our hand. But here we would get a small problem. Because we would instantiate a new one, we wouldn't delete the previous one. So basically we'll go up here and create a few more game object variables. A primary weapon. A secondary weapon. And a melee weapon. Now whenever we instantiate a new one, we'll save it as primary weapon will be equal to the instantiated object. Up here we can just go destroy primary weapon dot game object. And now we should be able to pick up a weapon. Now this will have to be repeated a couple of times, but now we can just copy it and paste it two more times. Just to make this a bit easier for you, I'll just uh, collapse these two other functions. Now we're making the one for 
the secondary so if database.weapon that we just wanted to pick up is equal to 2 which is our secondary we're going to check if inventory.1 is equal to id so if you already have this weapon picked up we're just going to print this else if inventory that inventory one is not equal to id we're going to destroy the previous object that we have to remove now it will be secondary object second there weapon the game object then we'll change the inventory the inventory one to the id and then we'll instantiate the new one to here we'll also have to change the weapon slot in here to one and that should be set up and now finally for the melee weapon that we do not have in the item database but we will be able to do it if it's equal to three then it's a melee weapon if inventory if we already have that weapon in the third inventory slot then we will uh, print this else if if we do not have it then we'll destroy the melee weapon and we'll change the inventory ID to the objects ID and then we'll just instantiate a new one and we'll change the weapon slot here to 3 to 2 actually and then we'll do the do it for the rest hopefully that makes sense it is a bit complicated seems like I made a small mistake here we do not actually need the second uh, value in our instantiate function so we just need the object that we're going to instantiate we don't need the parent seems like so just delete the second one let's see how that will work right now it's a bit hard to see where the middle of our screen is so we'll just go and create a UI image that we'll call the crosshair and we'll go and change its width to about 4x4 four four, I guess and you can change the color to like a bright green or whatever you want but it will do for now let's not forget to attach the script to our uh, camera If you try it now you'll get an error and I actually know why this is happening. That's because we're trying to destroy an object that isn't there. This is a good good function but we just need to create another one that will check before this. It will check if the inventory um, slot is equal or the inventory slot ID is equal to zero. If it is we do not want to destroy it because it means it's empty. And we'll have to do that for each one of these. So just copy the else if statement, paste it uh, in front of it, and check if the ID is zero, and delete the destroy uh, line. So basically, we're checking if uh, our inventory slot is empty. If it is, we do not want to destroy anything. And of course, I forgot to change the function here. So if it is equal to zero, don't forget to do that. And you can see that our object does get instantiated at our position, but it's not parented, so we'll just stay at one place. What we need to do is parent it to somewhere. We can go in the line below the instantiated object. We will type in primary weapon dot transform dot set parent, and we'll set the parent to our inventory dot weapon slot. And in this case, it will be weapon slot zero. So whenever we instantiate it, we'll set the parent to our weapon slot. We can just copy this line and then use it in all our in all our other uh, if statements. Make sure you do this in two in both functions. You want to do it in the first else if and in the second else if. We just copy paste it here and then we'll use it in the second one. So if we're picking up a secondary weapon, we'll go to the first else if statement. We'll go, we'll paste, and we'll set the weapon slot 1. Let me just copy that again, and go to the second 
else if statement, paste it. And now finally, if we're picking up a melee weapon, we'll go down here and we'll type primary weapon slot number two. Let me just copy that again and use it again. And of course, we forgot another line. Here we forgot to do transform, dot transform at the end of the line. That's easy to fix. Just go and uh, copy paste it everywhere. Again, a small mistake by me. Of course, uh, I forgot to change some variables. So whenever we're tra setting transform, we have to change uh, the weapon. So in the first statement, it should be good. In the second statement, there should be secondary weapon dot set uh, parent. -la -la -la. We have to change it everywhere now. Here. And in the third, it should be melee weapon. As you can see, if we go up to our primary weapon, we pick it up, we have it in our hand. It's not the best placement, but we can fix this uh, later. This actually kind of looks good for the shotgun. We pick up a secondary weapon, we change to it, and the placement again, it's not the best, but it works. And for the melee weapon, we'll do this last since it's not very important. We can just use fists, I guess. That's it, the pickup uh, weapon system. It's not the best one. It's the one I found out how to make. And it should do you some uh, help with figuring out how you want to do it. I will leave some screenshots to this in the description because it is a very complicated script. And you might need some help figuring out what you did wrong if you did something wrong if you didn't good job and hopefully i'll see you next time share this with your friends bye bye